You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to check out a very special box of Transformers from Hasbro. But before I begin, I do have to say thank you to Hasbro for sending me all of these cool toys for free in this special box. Hashtag more than meets the eye. This is for the Transformers 35th anniversary. Now, as I am talking here, I will be showing you different sides of the box. Anytime I get a box like this loaded with toys, I like to take them all out and show them to you one by one. But let me do this. Now that you've seen some of the box, let me show you a little bit more here, talk about it, and then I will show you the toys inside. All right, so here you go. So what you saw originally was this cardboard sleeve that goes over the actual packaging and where you have all of the toys. It's a pretty neat way uh, to display them in a neat box. And what I'll do here is, I'm uh, talking here, is I will show you all the different side panels of the box. And what I'll do is I'll put a nice little slideshow at the end. So there you go. This is a pretty neat package. Hashtag more than meets the eye there in the bottom left corner. The Transformers along the right side. Now it looks like there's going to be more opening here to get these out. So I need to figure that out. This I could take out is the Transformers. Ooh, it was stuck in there with a little sticky tab. Transformer Bot Bots in this corner. Well, let me see. Maybe there's a special way to open this where I can show you each section one by one. All right. Noticing there is no real graceful way to do this. It seems as though each of the cardboard sections have pull-out areas. So you can take that out. And then that is an insert. Take these out here. And those are also in their little section. And then let's just see, maybe this folds, ah, so you take that card out and then you can pull out this. Pretty neat. And then, ooh, what's that there? There's a little door there. Hmm, I will check that out. I don't know. They didn't really send me any other paperwork this. So there's the bot bot section. And then let's see, does this slide up? It sure does. All right, so let's check out what that hidden compartment is. And then I will show you all the toys, of course. Looking forward to doing that as well. All right, I was about to move on here, and then I saw this tucked in here. And then this extra bonus compartment hidden section with some, ooh, it looks like a coffee mug or some type of mug. Heat reactor ceramic mug. And then, what is that? Okay, some Transformers cards. I've never seen those before. Anything else in there? I think we got, oh, one more. Wow, nice to see all these things tucked away. It is the Hunter Deck Protector Sleeves. All right, so well, let me come back now and let's check out this hidden section. All right, here we go. Now, uh, reading that information, it says, in honor of the 35th anniversary of the Transformers franchise, we are celebrating how these robots in disguise are hashtag more than meets the eye. Inside this box is a collection of exciting Transformers products that celebrate and embody that iconic theme. But it's not just the bots inside this box that are more than meets the eye. The box itself is also hashtag more than meets the eye. To discover how, you'll need to examine your box carefully. It's up to you to share the secrets within. Let your audience be one of the first to access a special, access a special piece of content after decoding a hidden message. This hidden Cybertronian message has never been revealed before. So here it is. I will reveal this to you. You probably can use the code like I'm using the code. Ooh, what is that? All right, so what does it say? Oh, once located, visit the Transformers War for Cybertron website. I'll put that link up. Let's go over there and check out and decode the message before we go any further. All right, here we go. I am at Hasbro.com, and then it was slash Teletron1, double A's there. Here is the message we have to decode. It'll drop behind the window here, so let me just hit decode message. Okay, decode message. All right, so let me bring this back up here. It looks like we have what appears to be, it's almost like a backwards L with a colon there. Do, 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 right here, okay. And the second one is like an L with one dot. So it's this one first, then this one second. Let's check out 
the next one. So two of these almost like brackets. One, two, and then what looks to be like a P, the letter P. This one, and then the last one. Kind of the same, but there's a little bracket going underneath the other way. It looks like this one here. Okay, there we go. Let's hit decode. Decoding. R U B B L E Rubble. All right, what is that going to bring us? Oh, new file unlocked. Access now. Okay, so it's bringing me to what looks to be like a comic book. A bold new era. Let me uh, bring this down a little bit smaller here so we can get the whole screen in. And let's just arrow down. Okay, there we go. IDW 2, uh, Issue 1, Transformers. So it looks like they're coming out with a new comic book. I will do some screenshots of this for you so you can take some time to enjoy all the wonderful artwork here. A bold new era. Let's get to some words here. Is there words? Okay. Do, 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 do. Wow, it's a lot of pages. It is 42 pages long. It shows you that up here at the top, if you could see that. I'm on page 12 of 42. Holy cow, that is jam-packed. So it was just too much for me to show you in this one video. You have to go access the content yourself. And now you know how to do it. You've got the URL. You've got the code. Go ahead and decode it and read your comic book. So I will probably not put up any of these screenshots. So go here and enjoy it. I am just scrolling down. Let's see how it ends all the way at the end. Well, look at that artwork. Really nice artwork. Okay. Retailer exclusive. The Fellowship Art by John Gallagher. Okay, so there you go. That is the end. All right, let's head back to the toys. All right, I'm going to go through and show you all of them first before I open anything up. I'll open up some of these, but there's a lot here, so I will have to save them for later in the uh, order that I have them on the sheet. Not how I took them out of the box, but they give me that nice printout sheet of all the different uh, toys here. So this is the Transformers Bumblebee Movie Energon Igniter's Nitro Series Bumblebee. And as I'm talking... Different little package features will pop up there. It is a world where Energon, the lifeblood of Transformers robots, fuels the epic action on Earth and beyond. A world where you can harness Energon Igniter's movie figures and unleash the power within. Now this one has an interesting looking extra motor piece there. That is the core reactor, I'm guessing. It looks like you are flipping it down and then it's moving forward that's what i'm seeing pushing this down moving forward now here's all the steps there's nine steps to actually transforming all right so that is the first item pretty cool i will definitely get this one out of the package later let's move on to the next group of toys all right here we go this is the transformer studio series 38 voyager class transformer bumblebee movie optimus prime it is a world where you can reach past the big screen and bring the epic action from the most iconic Transformers movie moments to new dimensions. A world where you can recreate your favorite scenes with highly articulated movie accurate studio series figures. All right, as you saw some things flashing up there, let me just turn it around because I noticed there are 35 steps to transform that one. There is also the San Francisco Bridge backdrop. Big screen inspired scale detail backdrop. So that is included. You see that in the lower section there. All right. Very cool. Let's move on. The next one is a grouping of two. Let's check those out. All right. Transformers Generations War for Cybertron. Siege Voyager Class WFC S25 Soundwave. And then the Siege Micromaster WFC S18 Soundwave Spy Control. That's what it's saying there. And it is a world where you're plunging the epic fight to survive on the final day of the Autobot and Decepticon battle to control Cybertron. A world where you can build the ultimate battlefield with war for Cybertron. Siege figures. All right. And these, let's see, that one's 25 steps. And the one on the right. It's only four steps. All right, you've seen all the pictures on these. Let's move on to the next set of toys. All right, Transformers Cyberverse Ultimate Class Bumblebee, and then the Transformers Cyberverse Ultra Class Optimus Prime. 
It is a world where the Autobots and Decepticons discover unique powers and skills that will either be used to defend Earth or threaten it. A world where you could activate dynamic attack moves with Transformers Cyberverse figures. This one has two attack modes, Megatron. And then you have Grimlock over here. Let's see. All right. The one on the left is eight steps. And then it looks like all the packaging is showing you other... Uh, transformers in the line that are in this series and on the right it says 14 steps and there's two in that series it looks like uh well actually one extra one there let's check out the next group of products all right these are the transformers bot bots blind bag and then the transformers bot bots five pack now i've opened a bunch of these on video uh it is the world where not long ago a glowing mist of energon covered a shopping mall bringing everyday objects to life as little Transformers robots. A world where you can collect tiny, converting, mischievous, and funny Transformers BotBots figures. And I have shown these before, so in regards to detail, check out my other videos, but I'll just turn them around. Not much there, but the packs are kind of neat. You just pop them out of the back, and then you get to play with your BotBots. All right, let me check out that coffee mug and then the trading cards. All right, I have my heat reactive ceramic mug out of the box so you can get a good look at the image on the front. And I'll turn this around, as you can see. There is something there, but we don't know exactly yet. But, oh, that just gave it away. So when cold, when hot. Do you think we should try it out? Let's do it. I brought some super hot water. I'll pour it in. I'm gonna let this go real time, all right? So here we go. just like the box pretty cool that was real time i didn't speed it up or slow it down so now let me check out the trading cards all right so the last group of items here is the 100 pack or 100 deck protector sleeve transformers standard 66 millimeter by 91 millimeter gaming card sleeves and then this is the combiners trading card game booster pack has one foil transformer card and then seven battle cards in each pack. Ages A+. Plus. Collect Transformers. Build your team. Battle your friends. Add these cards to your Transformers TCG team and deck. Well, let's check them out. I don't get to show trading cards much, even though I have a huge collection of them. Well, not huge compared to some people, but uh, let's just say a nice box full of different kinds of trading cards that I've collected over the years. Never shown on video before. Why? I don't know. Because there's so many trading card channels. But then again, who knows? Maybe you've never seen the cards in my collection. I don't know. All right, so let's see. There's a protective sleeve. Let's remove that. And then, oh, two protective sleeves. So here's our one. Ooh, cool. Look at that card. Let's get it out of the glary light, though. Okay, enemies can't use bold. I'm not sure what any of this means. I don't really play the game. So those of you that play the game, you know the cards. Those of you that might be interested in them, here is a good representation showing you just some in the series. Because that's what I like to do. Show you different things. Okay, so this is one side of the card. All right, and let's see what the backs are. Okay, so the backs are all the same. So you're probably dealing them out somehow and playing the game. So we have Enforcement Batons. When you put this on a character, scrap an enemy weapon. Okay. Uh, underhanded Tactics. Fling. Bashing Shield. Steamroll. Aerial Bot Enigma. And then Backup Beam. All right. Might as well just open up the second one while we're here. 
they sent them to me, so I might as well just uh, check them out with you right now on video. Okay, so let's get this foil card out. Hopefully it's different. Better be. No dupes here. Okay. Okay, very cool. And it looks to be a folding. Did the other one fold? I didn't see it fold. No, no folding. This has got a folding two-sided card. Besides the glare, look at that, black wing. And there's the other side, the metallic side. Right? And then let's get the pack. Or the foil side, they call it. Sorry. Sorry, I know, trading card collectors. Okay, so we have field communicator. That goes with that, and that goes with that. And then we have escape route. Flip one of your characters from bot mode to alt mode. Field repair, always good to have that. Tech research, can't be a little tech research. Crash landing, sonic scramble, and then bravery. Brave, enemies attack this character if able. All right, so that is the card packs. Let me open up now some of the Transformers. All right, here we go, all the necessary tabs cut. Let's check this out. So you push it down and it spins. Okay, so there's a little wheel. Almost looks like a little piston back there. I'm going in and out a little bit. That's pretty neat. All right, let's get him out. Let's see if he stands right out of the box. Sure does. No, I don't see anything else on the inside. So the instructions are on the back. All right. There are nine steps. I'm never too good at this. I don't know why. All right, so let's just see what moves here. So legs, as you can see, you get this movement. You don't get that movement. You get that movement. So he does turn. Oh, there's a movement right there. At this point, the head, no turning. His little hands inside here, turn, wheels, spin. So let me just give him a quick change here. So you can see him, turn him around. There's his back. Now why don't you want to stall that foot wasn't down. Okay, I'm already touching things and messing things up. Okay, pretty cool. So let's just see here. So it looks like step one is his head. Which way does his head go? Oh, his head goes down. Okay, that was a pretty aggressive click. Uh, head in, and then step two. Fists in, or down, maybe down. All right, I don't know. Maybe down, so they're out of the way, I'm not sure. It actually looks like up. Okay, and then step three. Looks like it's just bringing this section up. Okay, there's like a little pin here that probably needs to go under before you do all that. Maybe not. Yes, it does. It's supposed to lock in. Okay, well, I'll figure that out in just a second. Then there's a twist, 180 degrees. Oh, turn it around. And then these go up. Okay. And then... I don't know, it looks like there's some kind of twist. Maybe I did it already. Maybe that... Oh, okay, maybe that's it. Okay, so there's a little, like, locking mechanism that drops that in like that. Okay. And slide together. Hmm. No, I think I have the fist wrong. It looks like it's hitting the fists. Something's still not right with the fists. Maybe they need to go all the way over. No, I don't want to force it. Oh, I see. Maybe they go in there. What's locking it? It's still something with the fists. 
Let's see without it. That's as far as it goes. Okay, so I have something wrong here. All right, so I messed up already. All nine, messed up. Oh, there we go. This should have been like that. Okay, got it. Got it. These go under. Definitely a little tight. You definitely probably need to play with them a little to get them just right. There's a little clip on the front bumper. And there. Ooh, I like that. That sound. That didn't get in there. Okay. Woo. Took a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm learning. Okay, but they don't give you instructions on the motor part. They just show you opening it up. But let's roll it. Not bad. Pretty cool. All right, so there is the back. Looks pretty neat. There's him all tucked in there real nice and cozy. And then the bumper does have a little clip on. Now we need to get this in there. Hmm. That is the next step. It rolls really good though. I would say overall the rolling part works good. Okay, so let's see what happens. You fold this out. It looks like it just stays here. I don't see anything that clips in. Looks wide on the picture. Then this goes in. Which way? This goes towards the back. This looks like the little blue tab is under. See how this little blue tab here is underneath? So it goes all the way in and underneath. Okay. Oh, wait, I think it locks into the bumper here. Yep. There we go. I think that's it. Let's see if it stays together. Yes, nice. That works pretty good. Ooh, the motor pops out. Okay, so be careful with that. Looks like you have to lock it in. Lock the bumper in first. Slide that in, and then you're good to go. Okay, so the motor comes out pretty easy. There are little locking mechanisms here and there, and I think you got to get them all just right. All right, I think we got that one. Let me do this. Uh, let me check out one more. I'll get it ready out of the package, and I will do another one. All right, here we go. This is all set to go. Now we've seen pictures on this. Those flip down. Okay. Let's get them standing, because I showed you that earlier. So nice, uh, large shots. And then I noticed there's no instructions on the back. But remember, we looked at this. Now we can get a nice, super-duper close-up of Bumblebee and Starscream. Must be the two. And this uh, looks like transforms to this creature here. Almost dragon-like, because it's shooting flames out of his mouth. Dragon dinosaur like. Oh, right there. Look inside. Instruction sheet. All right. I'm going to try to get this out without damaging my package in any way. I could just rip it all apart, but those of you that watch my videos know I take great detail to keep my original boxes as original as possible. All right, there you go. Let me give you a nice close up shot. Turn them around. So these must be the back legs. And there is this dinosaur looking creature back here with these little stubby front legs here. It's shooting flames, so maybe it's a dragon. I don't know. Nice little detail in there. Now I know the true aficionados of Transformers know every little minutia piece. They have their likes and don't likes of any new releases. And they would know when this was originally released. Um, all right, so let's see. Step one is put these up like this. 
Hmm, I don't know how it came out of the box. It looked like this, and then... Well, let me get my hands in here a little bit more so you can see me messing around. I don't know. Did I move them accidentally earlier? Maybe like that, instead of like that. Okay. Step two, looks like you're turning these up. Which kind of makes sense. Okay, that makes sense, doesn't it? These fists must go in. Okay, what about his itty bitty head in there? Okay, oh, so this plate moves down. And then this flips over. So his head doesn't turn. He's got limited movement, probably because you're now transforming into this new beast. Does it go one more? I think that's it. Let's just go back up. Okay, I've totally bypassed any logic here. Looks to be straight. Let me get these legs out of the way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I popped off a little arm by accident. So these do come off. In case you're wondering. Easy to put back on. I'm guessing this is going to go this way. That's going to go there. Okay, what do I do with these side plates? All right, so now we've twisted. Looks like you pushed the plate back up. Step six, twist these legs up, which I did, okay. Step seven, it seems like step seven is just a transition of step six. Step eight is that whole thing now, this piece. Something's going on here. Which way, ooh, I think it goes this way. X is like his armor on this side. Wait, so they fold them out, then they twist, and then they do that. Okay, so that locks in there, that locks in there. There's little clips everywhere here. Okay, I think we're close. Something going on here. I got this wrong. Is that right? Hmm. What is going on? These are supposed to be up. That looks right. are going down. Now they're going down. I don't think I have it 100% correct because it looks like how do you get the tongue out or the flame? So I have something wrong. All right, let me do this. I'm going to give it a quick review here. <laughs> I'm close. I think I'm close. I think it's just maybe the bending of the body. Oh, there it is. I was looking at it going, hmm. I had the body just misaligned slightly. Okay, so the mechanism is right in here. So you push that in and then you launch it like that. And then that's what opens it up. Okay, there, not too bad. Pretty cool, I like the look of that. I'm wondering if this needs to be, no, that's together, okay. All right, I think I am going to wrap it up with that. We've done two of them now, the mug. I think I've given you a pretty good idea, I've shown them all. Good pictures, hopefully. That's pretty neat. Got to get it just right. Look at that. Very cool. All right, I'll tell you what, let me bring it all back in. I'll rebox this one back up and wrap it up with you. All right, there you go. I thought I'd show you them all one more time as they originally came out of the box. I have to say, it is a very impressive collection, and I was uh, pretty surprised at how cool the box was that Hasbro sent 
with the special code and hidden compartment and other special items inside. And uh, let me know what you think. What is your favorite toy in the whole collection? What did you think about that special box? And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. <laughs>